Have you guys ever like had that moment where you realize you order just too much food to <laughs> give out? This just happened. We're here in La Jolla, California at this place called Cody's. We have to use the bench as a table and have no space. I got five egg whites. So I was like, oh, I need some protein. Then they're like, the French toast is the best here. So I have to get a French toast. And I was like, well, probably want some potatoes. <laughs> And can I get some bacon? I thought he was going to give me like two slices of bacon. And then we get like a whole plate of bacon. So this is literally all mine. Javon's just got like a Yeah, look at that. Look. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? I, I think you can hear on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not loud. It's not that bad. It's really subtle. Cute yeah, it's subtle. Cool. Dude, how, how do you know if you didn't snore? so loud. Did I snore last night? I don't, I don't think so. I didn't hear you at least. Oh, you over, like, I, times I know, I know I snore, Christian but you, you're just in bed. denial that you do snore. I don't snore. I've been here for two years and you've never said that I've snored. I've heard you snore with the snore Everyone, everybody, everybody, everybody snores. Everybody snores. We're here at World Gym San Diego. This gym is incredible. It's three stories. The first story is all weightlifting equipment, and we've got the uh, cardio, and then we have the locker rooms, which is so cool. I talked to one of the owners, co-owner, and he said that him and his partner have been collecting equipment for 27 years. That's motivation, guys. I've been collecting equipment for two years, so it just really put in perspective. This gym is literally so cool. Yeah, my knee, a lot of pain. It's been in pain for almost three weeks now. So we're gonna sort of take it easy, see how everything feels. Let's get it. February 6th, so this coming Saturday we're launching. Not Sunday, because it's Super Bowl Sunday. So on the 6th, we're launching at 10 a.m. So we're gonna get some cool shots to promote this week. And yeah, these things have sold like $20 from Javon. Today, <laughs> <laughs> this is all coins and equipment and stuff. But he's finishing up and yeah. um, Good workout, good dinner. Okay, dinner, dinner was all right. What? No, I don't want to miss the elevator. I'll see you guys. Next one, out the door by eight. And stay up to date okay. with everything because it's going down. Hey, say down again? Yeah. Down. <laughs> uh, how are you liking the view? Um, you know, it's pretty fabulous. Is it fabulous or fabulous? Or fabulous or fabulous? So bright, why is it so bright? Oh yeah. <laughs> what are those? I'm gonna do a clip real quick because I'm gonna take the batteries out of this thing. All right. Um, if just like the four of y'all just kind of sit, kind of how y'all are in there, and I'm just kind of like go in and y'all can just like. Hey, John, I like your pants. Huh? I like your pants. Thanks, bro. Well, they look good with these rocks, though. You can probably lay. Thought Javon was naked this morning because he came out in those oh. pants. All right, family, you know I don't like being behind on footage, so I'm going to get you up to speed and up to date right now. We went to Torrey Pines, had an awesome time, uh, amazing, beautiful view. We got a bunch of product shots before the launch coming up this Saturday at 10 a.m. At the end of the pictures, Javon and I went on a little trail. We got off the trail, went all the way to the ocean, climbed a bunch of rocks, cut our hands up. I stepped on a cactus. Javon Snapchat it instead of helping me out initially, but he did help me at the end. Uh, my foot was bleeding. It was in a lot of pain. Uh, really good time overall. After that, we went to Best Buy because we had bought a drone the day before called the Typhoon, but or two days before, but it, it was kind of acting funny. It wasn't acting that great. It was not that responsive. And so we went and exchanged it for the Phantom 3, which you can see the footage right here. It looks awesome. 
big things are coming. We're gonna get some awesome shots with that drone and get everything a lot more cinematic. I'm really excited for it. It does record in 4K. And later that night, went to the gym. I hit a back, shoulder, and bicep workout. Uh, tried some new machines. This was a new machine I tried. It was really nice. I like it. If I find one, I'm definitely gonna get one for the HQ, as well as this shoulder machine. I love this. Uh, also, ran into a subscriber while I was doing that shoulder machine. His name is Russell. We had a lot in common. His name was Russell. Nikki's brother's name is Russell. He has a girlfriend named Nikki. I have a girlfriend named Nikki. So, <laughs> pretty crazy. Uh, good workout partner. Finish up the workout with biceps and then a superset right here of a pull down, superset with a reverse curl. And that was the California trip. La Jolla was incredible. LA was incredible. I love you guys. Hopefully, you're up to date now and the footage coming up to you is more recent. Back in Houston, Texas, after about 12 days on the road. Feels good to be back. Right. In, back in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I start over. <laughs> right now, we are at the home. I'm not even a. Say anything. Just gonna show you all that. Right there. This is the home that we showed you guys last. Come on. Study. The really open floor plan. It's all wood everywhere. Three car garage. Massive backyard on both sides. Guest room. Guest room. That's not the garage. Uh, where's where's the garage? Oh, here's your garage. So one car, two car, three car. Nice appliances. Show you the master. But first, I'll show you the movie room. It's got a movie room in here. Master over here. All wood. Nice big bathroom. Pretty big closet. And I'll show you the backyard. Uh, pretty much this house was the top choice mainly because of the wood floors, the backyard. So this whole lot, this house is 30, right at 32 to 3,300 square feet, but the lot is over 12,000 square feet, meaning the backyard is absolutely ridiculous. So for Nala and Knox, the dogs, our huskies will be awesome. Tons of space over here, tons of space over here. So I know a lot of you guys are going to wonder how much this house costs and normally it's not something I would say just because but in order to put it sort of in perspective I know a lot of you watching this video live overseas in the UK you guys live in Canada you guys live in California and Florida housing markets are different everywhere so we're here in Houston Texas technically Sugarland Texas which is a little suburb outside of Houston and we are paying right in between four and five hundred thousand dollars for this house. Uh, again, 12,000 square foot lot, 32, 3,300 square foot house, nice appliances, all wood. Overall, really, really happy with this buy. I think it's going to be really good. And it should hopefully go up in value over the next few years. So that's the goal. So we're going to uh, go to the model home and sign some of the paperwork and move forward with it. I'm really excited. See you guys next clip. We're here at Joe's house. I drove his car. I freaking love it. What's up? <laughs> We're about to go. I'm a Joe, Nikki, and Garrett. And we are going to Jess's birthday brunch. In order to go, I changed my joggers to jeans and I kept my same shoes. Joe's got the red ones, so I've got the blue ones. We literally went from black joggers to black jeans. Yeah. <laughs> same shirts. Nikki looks like a sailor. <laughs> Sailor Nikki. What? Sounds like a nice like. And, and Garrett, Garrett, you can't Sailor even talk, Garrett. bro. You're wearing Nikki sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. These are, <laughs> these are Nikki sunglasses. Oh. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you.
Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. All right. So Daniel has started prep. So bringing the fruit scale. I love it. I gotta stay committed. Potatoes. What is this? This is turkey. Barbecue. Yeah. Turkey, roast beef, pico, sauce. I don't know why I put pico on top. It doesn't really go together. <laughs> hey, you just showed up. <laughs> it feels so good to be home. Guys, we left for like two weeks and everything was dirty and muddy and gross here. And they finished these buildings. They finished the pavement. They even did the parking spots. So we have parking off through here, off through here, off through here. And the parking in the front. And they power washed everything. So it looks really good. Uh, the gym is actually closed right now. It's like 6 o'clock right now. The gym closes at 5 on Sundays. But what's up? Oof, oof. Oh. You suck, Derek. <laughs> But the team's working out tonight, uh, and squad so Sunday. the squad's working out. Squad Sunday. Squad Sunday. <laughs> I've got legs today. My knee has still been freaking hurting me. It's been like four weeks now. It's not even my knee, guys. Got your knee? It's like right here is where I hit it, and then all pains like, whoosh, like right there. And it's only when I like right when I'm at 90 and go oh right there. That's where it hurts. The proud and ever satisfied shirts are coming back this launch. Super limited on Saturday, February 6th, 10 a.m. Should I flick him? I don't want to flick him, I'm gonna, I was eating crap because I'm gonna hurt the grasshopper. I don't wanna hurt him. You gotta be politically correct. Just give, give. They don't like to be called grasshoppers. They like to be called green bugs. <laughs> Why is it? Grasshoppers don't bite, do they? No. Get closer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on family? Hopefully you're enjoying this video. Uh, honestly, this video was like two hours of raw footage, so I try to cut it down. Uh, it's a little bit under 20 minutes, so hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, next thing is, I know I just complained about my knee, and here you're seeing me squat. So I put my knee sleeves on, I warmed up a bunch, did a lot of warm-up sets. Uh, it was tight going in, starting off, but then as soon as I sort of got into the groove, started adding more weight, put my knee sleeves on, got more warm. Uh, the pain really did go down. So here I did 340 pounds for six, 350 for six, which you're about to see, and then uh, 315 for a set of 10 reps. Now, just because my knee is not hurting much during the workout does not mean I am not gonna warm up properly and be sure it's not gonna hurt. If it does hurt during any single movement, guys, I'm gonna stop. But it's one of those things where, yes, I can take more time off, and honestly, I probably will go get it checked out within the next few weeks, uh, especially if it hurts another week or two. But at the same time, I don't wanna just back off my leg training. I've only got a few. I don't have that long left in the surplus, and I wanna make the most of it. So if I can do the movement, I wanna do the movement. That may, is that the smartest thing to do? No, is that what I'm doing? Yes, do I recommend that? No, but again, it's what I'm doing. Uh, just be cautious, be aware of the pain there, and if it's tolerable, it's tolerable. If it's not, then it's not. So that's my opinion on it. Uh, and yeah, allowing the time to recover, gonna go see a doctor. But anyway, squats, 315 for a set of 10. So warmed up a bunch, did three working sets, and then moved on to some accessory work. Uh, the first accessory movement was a standing hamstring curl, as you're seeing here. Uh, I love this machine. I really do focus on bringing my heel up. So instead of bringing my foot up, I really focus on pulling through my heel. Just like on a back day, you would pull through your elbow on your pull downs on your rows. Uh, on the hamstrings, I pull through my heel, pull the heel up. Now, the next movement was a squat press. Now here I was doing, I believe, five or six plates for sets of 12 to 15 reps. Uh, again, focusing on the negative, coming down slowly, exploding up, and not locking out my knee at the top. Uh, not locking out the knee is gonna help keep a little bit more tension on your legs. And yeah, um, really happy with the progress of this bulk. My squats are going up. Uh, I think I, I hit 455 for a max, which I think last year my squat was low 400s. Um, around this time so or like high 300s low 400s so really happy with the progress finish up the workout with quad extensions 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, stay tuned for the next one. And the outfit launch is coming up this Saturday at 10 a.m. What's up? Here's my girlfriend. Coloring in a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited because we bought those iPad minis for the expo, which means now we can use them for the gym, and I can get my Christmas gift back. I don't even know if I told you guys, but I got a iPad Pro from Nikki. It's custom. I don't know if you can see the Mr. Guzman on it. Yeah. I love it. I, like, I had it for two days before we had to put it at the gym, or three, four days, and I was using it every single day, like, so much. So, I'm excited to use this. Right now, I'm about to write my to-do list for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a really busy day. What's up? I pencil. Oh, and she got me a pencil, which I haven't even opened yet. Um, but yeah, a lot to do this week. We have launch coming up on Saturday, which is February 6th, which is Al Alfleet's first ever birthday. So it's really exciting. It's going to be huge. We have good products. So um, a lot of marketing stuff this week. Um, a lot of planning. The house stuff. Uh, yeah, so... Tons and tons of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna start writing everything now so I don't forget anything. And I like to do that on Sundays if I can, if I remember to do it. Uh, I definitely like writing things down, really just on Sunday, so I know sort of my goals for the week. I don't do it like a daily thing. I think a weekly thing is fine for me at least. I know some people like to do that daily. But anyway, that's gonna conclude the night. One of those things is getting a freaking haircut this week <laughs> for the photo, I have a photo shoot on Tuesday for promo. We need to get some models for it. Who are we gonna use? We'll get some models for it. I'll show you guys the whole week. I'm gonna vlog a lot this week, probably upload every day, or, or not every day, every other day, uh, three, four videos this week, and then, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Guys, one of the most exciting things Suits is finally back. Season five. It's like top two favorite shows. Number one's Gotham. And then flash an arrow. So excited.